Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the final week of April, 2023. I hope everybody's doing well. I am gonna take a quick second to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Taurus out there. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. It's not unusual in a general reading. Also, please do not try to force yourself into a story that is not for you. All right, Spirit, can I have the energy of Taurus? Taurus. Energy of Taurus. Thank you. All right, so Taurus, you are starting out with the Page of Wands reversed. We have the Nine of Wands reversed and the Three of Swords reversed. So there's a karmic lesson or a karmic cycle that is taking place here. I see that you're healing from something that was extremely painful. You're eager to kind of put that behind you. I feel like you, you gave up on some situation. There could have been some third party energy involved, but I feel like there's things that you are keeping to yourself. Um, you may have also received some bad news. So it's the energy here of somebody that's finally just had enough. They've gotten that final piece of bad news and, and you're kind of like, I'm, I'm done here. But now you're healing from it, although it was very painful. So let's see the person in your energy. Show me who's in the energy of Taurus. Tell me who's in the energy of Taurus. All right, so Taurus, the person in your energy, we have the High Priestess in reverse. The Empress in reverse, sign of Taurus or Libra. We have the Hanged Man and the Four of Cups. So this person that's in your energy, I feel like um, they're really not in touch with their own intuition. There's definitely a focus that they have on the past. Yeah, they. it's like they couldn't see the love that was being offered to them. And this went on for a very long time or has gone on for a very long time. This person, for some reason, is feeling disrespected, though. There's a sense of disrespect or they might be disrespectful. It could be that. There could be some secrets that have come out. That could have been the bad news that, that you are dealing with, that proverbial straw that broke the camel's back. But I feel like this person, this person is so involved in looking at the past that they they couldn't see what was being offered to them and again i'm seeing that there's been some third party energy so that may be what came out let's see the energy between the two of you the hermit sign of virgo yeah both of you are are keeping to yourselves as far as communication, but you're both soul searching. Yeah, there's definitely soul searching that's going on here. Both of you are engaged in this. You may be keeping some things that you're not telling this person. Um, we'll have to clarify that. I feel like some of their secrets came out though. Let's, what is affecting this connection? There seems to be a silence between the two of you. What is affecting this connection? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a sense of um, abandonment here. Feeling left out in the cold. This is what made you say, I, I give up on this. And it's what's causing this connection to not, not grow as well. What's the outcome? I just heard there's a, a gulf between the two. What's 
the outcome. Show me the outcome. You may feel that this person has ignored you for quite some time. The emperor in reverse. Mm. Interesting. Um, so, Taurus, you could be dealing with a karmic person here. It's a situation that seems to be somewhat out of control. We have both the emperor and the empress displaced. This person is um, not nurturing this connection. I can see that. They've ignored this connection for a long time. And so it feels as if a situation may have gotten out of control. There's a need for someone to take charge, to take control of this situation. You're healing though. I can see that you're healing. And this person, it's like they're stuck in the past. Um, bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. This is underlying energy. There's been a lot of like sleepless nights, worrying, trying to figure things out. I don't feel like they're completely figured out because you're both in this hermit mode, but I do feel that at least at this point, you're doing some healing and there's some soul searching going on. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Page of Wands in the reverse? Ace of Pentacles and the Star. You're hoping for a new beginning, but I don't feel like it's with this person. I feel like you're hoping to have a new beginning. And it feels like it's with someone else because the energy here is not compatible with an, a new beginning with this person. You're feeling like this is going to bring balance into your life and healing, but you're not telling this person um, why is the Nine of Wands here? You're you're keeping that close to your, your chest. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you have options here, Taurus. You have a lot of options. You're you're independent. You um you're showing up here as single. It's like in your eyes, you you're saying I'm, I'm making myself single so I can exercise my options. I know that not all of them are going to be good for me, but I want a new beginning. I, I'm giving up on this. I'm tired of feeling abandoned by this person. Why is the Three of Swords in reverse? You may have gone through some confusion, and I feel like you, you wanted to try to resolve these problems and put them behind you, but when that didn't happen, that confusion... Um, has kind of passed. Oh, Seven of Swords. Ten of Wands reversed. So there was deception here. And I can see it. This person's secrets came to the, came to the, the forefront. And you're just done here. You're done. You may feel that you have to sneak away from this connection in order to not have problems with this person, especially if you feel that it is out of control, but it's like you've done the work and you're healing now. You're not having any kind of third party energy, but you, you wanna be done with deception. So I feel like this person was very deceptive Let's see their energy. Why is the High Priestess in reverse? Why is the High Priestess in reverse? All right, we have the Four of Coins. We have the Four of Swords. Stability is very important to this person. They're holding on to stability for dear life here. But in doing so, they're moving against their own intuition. They're very guarded. And I feel like this person, they don't, they don't tell you a whole lot. There's something here that they're, heal, they're trying to heal from. But 
they can't heal from it and hold on to it at the same time. And this is where they're not following their intuition. I also feel like this person is trying to, to heal. They're taking a break here, but there's someone or something that they're holding on to. It would have been information, this deceptive energy, it's out in the open. It's like they got found out. Some of them are holding on um, to their finances or their money. They could be hiding money as well. Let's see why the Empress is in reverse. King of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Leo here as well. Libra is very strong. So they're not nurturing this connection, but yet this is showing me that this person, this person has some, some, uh, how do I word it? Clarity. They can see clearly that they're not nurturing it. They're very aware of this. This is somebody who's trying to become honest with themselves. And if you're dealing, if you're dealing with a karmic, they realize that. They realize this is a karmic connection. But they're trying to get honest with themselves. They're trying to see things more clearly. This person wants happiness. They want happiness, but they feel empty. Hmm. Let's see the bottom energy. Right. Let's see. I had one that fell. Hold on. Oh. Okay. So the person you're dealing with here, there's competition. Whoever or whatever this is, you're aware of it. There's competition here. This person is wanting to offer love and reconcile with a third party. That's why they're looking at their past, and that's what they're holding on to. It's a third party that they're trying to reconcile with. But they're in conflict about that because it's been a long time. So this person hasn't, for a long time, been able to see this connection because their attention was diverted elsewhere. I feel like this is what was so painful for you, Taurus. It's come out, it's out in the open. But they're not in communication with that person either. And I feel like they they wanna move forward and offer something to that person. They've been very worried about how to go about doing that. They don't want to feel, I mean, this person's had sleepless nights. So you're wanting to exercise your options here and become single. This person has hurt you deeply. And I feel like they're aware of that. Let's look at the energy between the two of you. Yeah, their, their energy is diverted in another direction. The Magician. and the Six of Swords. So you're both doing soul searching. You're trying to manifest a new beginning. Something that's gonna balance you out and, and make you happy and whole. You're manifesting it. So I feel like there's a lack of communication between the two of you, but you're putting that time to use 
in order to manifest a new life. This person is moving forward as well. This is what's on their mind. They're moving forward towards whomever that secret was. But whatever that is, it's out in the open. So you're aware, you, you, you know about it. They're still holding on to that person and they're trying to move forward into that direction. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. This person had you stuck for a long time. I feel like you're walking away from this person. You're making yourself single. This person had options, now you have options. You're not, you're not moving forward with this person. I feel like you're leaving this person out in the cold. You felt abandoned. Now they're, they're, you're leaving this connection. Um, they're aware that you're ending this. They're aware that, they're, that you're ending this. They're trying to come clean. It's like they've been found out anyway. But there's still things that they're not... I feel like they're not being completely transparent. And you're keeping some things to yourself as well. You may have already manifested a new beginning. And if you have, you're feeling very hopeful about that. So you you have no intention of moving forward with this person. And they're aware of this. Let's look at your outcome. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. It's your choice. The Moon. And the Empress in the upright. Yeah, this looks like a karmic connection. So, I feel like you're ending this, Taurus, because that's, that's strong earth energy. It's in the reverse. I feel like you want to put an end to all these problems. You're healing already. You may be sneaking away from this connection because you also have the moon here, which tells me that you're, you're ending these problems in a covert way. So I feel like you're kind of sneaking away from this connection. You definitely are not moving into it. You feel like it's out of control. And you feel like this person is low vibrational as well. They are moving towards someone that they've been holding on to, whoever with the third party was. Yeah, they are. They're moving towards that person for a reconciliation. They're currently in a conflict with them as well. So this person just has conflict all over the place, but they want to end that. But I, I feel like you've made yourself so strong here, Taurus, that you're... You're just, um, you're not willing to, to do this. I also feel like a lot of you tried to resolve the problems even after the deception came out. You really did try to heal this and to resolve this, but there there's more secrets. And so now you have secrets. Yeah. And if it's not a new, if it's not a person, you're working on your money, but it feels like a new stable beginning Something that you manifested and you were really hoping for. But I feel like you're keeping that to yourself. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, so releasing the past. I see you releasing this person and moving towards something new. Something that um, is everything you would hope for. But this person hasn't nurtured this connection in a very long time. Their attention has been very much diverted. I'm going to uh, pull an oracle card for you. Um, signs I have. I have Cancer here, very strong. Could be another Earth sign, a Taurus like yourself, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. Um, I told you already, Air signs. Gemini is very strong. Libra is very strong. Aquarius is here as well, though. So, all right.
let's see what Oracle comes out for you. All right, you have number 42. It says wide open. So let's see what that says. You are free to express your uniqueness to the world and share in all the bounty of life's endless possibilities. And that's what you're looking at too, Taurus. It says, all manner of opportunities are presented to you at this time. The wide open card is a signal that you're able to truly manifest your dreams and that your goals are in sight. Don't remain small and contracted. Instead, expand your horizons beyond what you believe to be your limitations. You have a unique voice that needs to be expressed in the world. The universe is supportive of new ideas and approaches at this time. So speak up and speak out. This card is a sign of the maverick who freely roams the wide open space of possibility. Allow for a greater vision to replace old ideas as you dream a grander dream. And you know what? That is, in a nutshell, what you're doing here. You're, you're manifesting this, Taurus, so good on you. Yeah, it looks like your healing and this heartbreak is soon to be behind you. I feel like you're going to get everything that you're hoping for and manifesting. So I think this is wonderful. You're, you're wide open to those possibilities. So I love this for you. All right. I hope this has been helpful. If this has resonated with you in any way, please smash that like button. Also, um, if you have not already subscribed, please do so. I would really appreciate that. Hit the little bell at the side and you will be notified when I upload your readings. Until I see you guys in about a week for the monthly readings, namaste.